Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Metrics, No Simping All Subjects channel. Shout out to the scripture and the people who wrote the books of the scripture. And the couple people that's really living out the word. I'm not going to be one of the ones that say ain't nobody in the church real because think about it man think about it like this you can't when you generalize it's like you make it becomes a grip like anything you generalize it becomes a grip I'm, I'm not going to name names I'm out of, out of respect out of respect Right now, at least. If they come after me, then it's, it's whatever. But what I'm saying is, hopefully they hear this so I can so I can get them to understand that some things you have to pinpoint. Like you can't you can't say all oh, because like like this is how it works. If if one person is loosely involved with something, right? And you generalize by saying, oh, you, you done included them. You done included them. And if that person is not like what you say, it just became a grift. What you saying just became a grift. So when it comes to the church, we know that most, most is a better word of these preachers ain't about nothing. The Most High is going to always use prophets, though. He just uses them differently now. See, this, this is why people debate, and this is why arguments happen, and this is why sometimes it don't get nowhere. Because a person can, if you come, like any of y'all out here, come and say, ain't nobody in the church no good. The church is full of sin. Every church every or all those two words and then they could come back and say what makes you so good and if they if they know you and they know things you done said and did they can flip that right back in your face man that's why it don't make sense to generalize you got you gotta be specific even when you pray you gotta be specific because demons remember Remember the sermon I gave you that criminals and demons are are one and the same. They think alike. You know how a criminal go to jail and they be in the prison trying to manipulate the guards? Don't, they do that in the spirit as well. That's why you have to be specific. Y'all be talking about amen and stuff like that. But you don't know that amen, like in some languages, amen is pronounced the same, but has one letter different. But when they use it in the English language, they know what they're doing. They're casting the spell. Because amen, A-M-O-N, is one of the, the principal demons mentioned in the Pseudo Demonica. The list of demons. It's Ammon. Remember the Ammonites? They were against, like they was not with the Most High. They wasn't with them. So you, you don't want to generalize. There are some, not a lot, of churches where the pastor really follows and, and believes in the God of the scripture. There are Muslims out there that are real, that believe in the God of the Quran, which is worded different, taught different, but when it come down to it, the Most High gonna have people from all tribes, all languages. That mean, what did that mean? That means that he gonna have people 
They had different beliefs. So you can't just disqualify everybody but yourself. That is, that's arrogance. That's arrogance. Even, even in my early days of preaching, I didn't, I tried not to do that. I probably wasn't always successful, but I tried not to do it. There's Hebrew Israelites. There's Jehovah Witnesses that are real to their faith. And they're going to be judged according to their works. Judge not lest you be judged. That's what he was talking about. You can't put people in hell. You, If you put people in hell before they get judged according to their works, then you you kind of putting yourself there because the same standard that you 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 use is going to be used back on you again that's how it works now some people go too far with it they think they can do anything and not judge no you're going to be judged according to your works your works are still going to be judged so you can't go along with everything like like all the stuff that's going on in the world we ain't gonna name nothing and then think because you went along with everything that that is gonna get you the mercy you need you still gonna be judged according to your works it's just gonna be based on the way you did it y'all get what I'm saying okay I'll keep going So we see people on YouTube doing that. We see people on Facebook doing that. It, okay, you don't like the church. You don't like the church. Be careful though. Because there are some people in there that are in the book of life. In Christianity. Yeah, I be getting on Christianity too. But for you to say nobody, now you don't now you don't dug my grandmother up and, and basically took her out of the heaven. So, don't generalize, man. Don't generalize. I can't see and I don't got my... We don't. So, don't generalize. Do not generalize. Because when you generalize, you, you throw in everybody, every single person into, it's kind of like what people do when they say, there is no God, there is no heaven, there is no hell. So that person is generalizing and they ain't never even been out of this dimension. But they trying to predict what's in the other dimensions and they ain't never even been out of this dimension. That's the same as if a person tries to say, man, ain't nobody in the Christian church say. It's my job as a prophet. I know y'all don't think no prophets exist but y'all, but I, I don't care. Like, you don't. Some of the people talking this stuff, I don't even know them personally. Like, you've never seen the lifestyle I live, I've never seen the lifestyle you live other than on this social media. I'm mature enough and I'm, I'm wise enough to know, though, that some things uh, for me to say is like childish and dumb. Like, I, I understand that. Definitely. So, you know, um, Perhaps I get out the truth and some of these people can make it through the gates. So what I need to focus on is the truth, not making a name for myself. Now, here's the thing, though. I ain't trying to make no name for myself, but it's not fair for people to try to keep me from having a name, which is what goes on with them people, with this, with that. Like, 
if a person gets a name, they get a name, but you shouldn't be doing things to make a name. Y'all understand that? Let me say it again. If a person gets a name, they get a name, but we shouldn't be doing stuff for a name. Like, that shouldn't be our main motive. Like, I, okay, you're doing something you want to make some money out of. That's the same, like, these preachers, like, I agree. A lot of them, that's all they care about is the money. But I can't say all of these preachers, that's all they care about is the money. Because I guarantee you, if I was to go to every city, if I was to go to every country, every uh, state, I'm going to find handfuls of preachers that ain't in it for the money. That's why you don't generalize. You you don't generalize. Generalization make, makes it a grift. You know, the Christian church is down. And it's down because they focus more on the business aspect than the the character building, the 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 getting souls to save themselves. Notice I ain't say saving souls. You can't save somebody else. You can get them to make decisions in which lead to them saving themselves. That's why evan like evangelizing. Okay. That's just an invitation. If they accept the invitation, now you try to present information that will lead them to saving themselves. That's how it really goes. Now, you know, heard from the prophet. So a lot of what you're seeing, they ain't doing it right. They trying to talk people into getting saved. No, they supposed to talk themselves into it. Because if they don't, they not gonna really be saved. That's why it is so many hypocrites in the church. Because good preaching brought them in. Not they desire and they willingness to know and to learn and to serve the most high God. It was talking that got him in there. And that's why in the parable of the sower, the good soil are those that save themselves. See how that works? And another generalization, for you to say that the church is doing nothing, there's work being done in different parts of the world. So and there's work being done here. I mean, you go down and go down to uh, Texas, for instance. Even though T.D. Jakes was giving them bad food, he was giving them food. You see what I'm saying? That's what. That's work. That's work. Now he could have did a better job. And see, a lot of y'all just lead this to me. Lead it to the prophet. You can't make yourself a prophet. The most high have to appoint you. The most high have to appoint you. So, but generalization is almost in some forms discord. Here's how we should look at the Christian church. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a whole separate video on this. I'm going to show you how we should look at the Christian church. After this, we're going to make a video on that. We should look at it like the tares and the wheat. There's some tares in there. There's some wheat in there. They growing together. You see the weeds, you just pull them up. You don't act like the whole grass is weeds and you don't set the whole grass on. You don't destroy the whole lawn. You're not supposed to do that. If you destroying the whole lawn, I'm going to look at it at me being a prophet. I'm going to look at it as you trying to make a name for yourself. What you're supposed to do is you see some weeds or weeds, you see some tears, you pull them up so the wheat can have room to grow. 
That's how you're supposed to do it. You don't set the whole... It's almost like this, okay. Well, you know what? We, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll talk about it in a second. Stay tuned.